Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, please excuse my crazy hair. I am just going out to Starbucks just to get something and I'm coming right home. Don't worry. Um, I think I need to get gas too so I'm probably going to do that. And excuse the lighting. It's like really, um, it's like really bright out. I don't know if I can fix it or not. But, um, anyway, welcome back. It has been forever since I last uploaded a video. I think my last video was like a sheen haul or something like that. So it is long overdue. That is for sure. Um, <clears throat> there's lots of reasons as to why I haven't like been vlogging as much. Um, and I haven't really been on YouTube. There's just been like so much going on that it's like just I've just had too much on my plate to even worry about vlogging. It's like the last thing that I needed. Um, I feel like now I'm kind of coming to a place where I'd be able to put up at least one video a week. I know I was doing like two videos a week, but I think I could at least come into one video a week right now. So I'm going to try my best to do that. Uh, that is the plan. I guess I can update you guys on everything. Um, so first of all, we'll start with the good stuff. I got engaged, which is like super exciting. Um, yeah, it was it was really special. Um, it's just the way he asked me and everything. It was really sweet. So that's what that is. Working a lot. Um, that's really what I've been up to. Um, I don't know if I talked about this in any of my previous videos or not. I don't think I did. Um, but we were in a car accident like a few months ago. It's actually just before my birthday, like I think the day before my birthday. We were in a car accident. That was amazing. Um, and I'm still like sometimes struggling with um, back problems from that. So it's just kind of, it's been hard to do certain things that I like to do, that I want to do. It's like, it's not ruined my entire summer, but it's really put a damper on a lot of things. And it sucks, it really does. Um, yeah, I feel like some days like I'm getting better, like I have some weeks that are like better than others. And then other times I'm just like back to square one I feel like. But I've been going to my chiropractor and she's been helping me out a lot. So um, I'm extremely grateful for her. Yeah, so that's that update. And then, like, a month ago, I want to say, I was, I, like, went to the ER because I was in so much pain. It was, like, not even funny. Like, I was in so much pain in my back that, like, I couldn't, like, breathe. Sorry for the lighting. This is really bad. But it was so bad that I, like, couldn't even breathe. Like, I, it hurt to take a full deep breath in. Um, and it kind of came out of nowhere, so that was really scary. Turned out it was just an infection. Thank God it was, like, nothing more. But um, I'm so glad that I went and got it checked out because otherwise, like, I wouldn't have known this. Um, and, like, they found some other things, too, but it's, like, nothing, like, major, so there's nothing to worry about. But I'm just not going to share it on the vlog because I don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm glad it was just... It wasn't nothing, but it wasn't anything like... I was thinking, because he was asking me questions about, like, my kidneys or appendix. If I've ever had issues with those. And I was like, uh... <laughs> like, I was like, is this what this is about, you know? So, um... But it wasn't. So, I'm happy about that. 
there's just like so much to update you guys on and I feel like I'm just like spewing it all out but this is gonna be a chatty vlog but um just want to kind of update you guys you know you guys come along with the journey for me I just you know I want to update you guys keep you in the loop on me and how I'm doing so yeah that's really the update hold on I'm at Starbucks Hi, can I just get a venti strawberry refresher? Okay. And a tall cup of ice and that'll be all. Alright, so I got my Starbucks. I'm good to go. Um, so I'm trying to think of what else I need to update you guys on. I don't really, like, that's really been like the extent of it. did go to my first concert last month, I think it was. I think it was last month, yeah. Um, we had tickets for the Hella Mega Tour, which is uh, Fall Out Boy, Green Day, and Weezer. Um, we had tickets and we were going to go last year, you know, before the pandemic, but the pandemic happened, so they rescheduled um, like all the concerts that were happening last year. So that got rescheduled for this past August, and um, it was a lot of fun. I do have to say though, um, I'm not gonna like get into all this COVID stuff because that's not what I want to talk about on my channel. But um, I just felt like, because it was like a really hot day, and I like from work and stuff, I don't ever have to wear a mask outside. But I didn't feel comfortable being around that many people for the first time in like over a year without a mask on. So I chose to wear a mask for my own personal reasons. Um, and I felt like claustrophobic because it was so hot out. It was like so hot and I felt like almost like sick from the heat. And then I was wearing the mask and I just really just felt like and like we were sitting on top of everybody because it was a sold out show. And I was just like, oh my gosh. I mean, it got better. Once the sun was not beating on us, it was fine. Like once the shade was there, it was fine. But it was like super hot and it was just not the vibe. But that's okay, it's fine. But I'm just saying, it was just a lot. So I know everybody has their opinions about this stuff, but that's fine. It's okay to have our opinions, we can all still get along. So, um, anyway, that'll be it of COVID talk on my channel. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's, there's anything else. There's been a few like little like concerts happening at fairs um, that have been happening like over Labor Day weekend around us and all that stuff, so. Um, I went to that, but we were able to like social distance and whatever, so that was fine. I just like not being on top of people and keeping my distance. I just, I just prefer it. So I'm still trying to be careful and like what I do and all that. So gotta do what you can, right? Um, but I think that's like it for updates. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting to get gas right now. I'm waiting at the stoplight, so. But I'm gonna get gas and I'm gonna go home. So I think I will catch back up with you guys when I get home. All right guys, so I wanted to show you our little um, makeshift garden. This is our first year having a garden, but I think it turned out pretty well. I think it's all the wind and the storms we've been having lately. Is why this is all like bent like this. Um, but, so these are Shinto peppers, um, let me see if I can show you guys here, you can see them like right here, they're good, we get a lot of hot ones though, like this one, it'll eventually turn red and that's gonna be like really hot to eat, um, please excuse all the weeds, um, we're gonna redo this garden next year and I think we're gonna take this whole thing out and redo it a lot better and we've learned a lot um, since having this garden um, we have some bell pepper 
goes here as well. This one doesn't look so great. Kind of like, kind of like my mom. That's how a lot of our uh, bell peppers have been, and I'm not sure why. So if anybody is like good at gardening and you know why, let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, and we have more shinto peppers over here. Here, I can show you guys these red ones here. See what I mean? Those are like really, really hot. So, and then we, our tomato plant has like, it, it's, it's so big. It's like ginormous and I didn't know tomato plants got that big. Like it's really big. Really tall compared to everything else out here. Um, some more shinto peppers over here. This is our, this guy right here is our blackberry plant. Um, this is our first year with it, so obviously we didn't get much produce from it. We got a couple blackberries, but that was it. Um, and we also had a cucumber plant, but, um, and that did really well, but then it just kind of died, and I'm not sure why. So yeah. And then we got our um, more tomatoes over here, as you guys can see. I don't know why this camera is like not adjusting to this lighting, but yeah, this is like really overgrown. So definitely need to uh, take care of this and do different things next year. But um, this is really fun to like try out. And yes, this is the entire tomato plant right here. So the sunlight is like kind of bothering my eyes right now. So, um, but I want to tell you guys that next year we have like a whole plan of like all these different um, like fruits and veggies that we want to plant in the garden next year. And I am super excited for that. Um, I'm wanting to plant some strawberries and I'm like so excited because I love strawberries and like it's way better to plant them instead of buying them in the store just because of all the pesticides and everything. Um, it's like one of the worst um, fruits that you can buy in the store for pesticides if you want to mm -hmm. talk about that. And there's a bee. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. And I don't do bees either. And that's like what's all around the garden like all the time. It's a bunch of bumblebees. Which I get. They're pollinating. They're doing their thing. But it's like I don't like the bees. I just don't so um yeah but anyway I think next year we're gonna do this garden differently um the reason why it looks like it's like such a makeshift garden is because um we always have rabbits that come in and eat anything that we plant we had a like a full-on flower garden years ago and they ate all the freaking flowers so that's why we're um Looking into how to do our garden better next year. Um, I'm not sure if any of the plants are actually going to come back. I know the blackberries will. And we actually have some blueberry. Like. I forget what they're called. Is it like pink lemonade flavored blueberries or something like that? I don't know. But we have that planted too. And I think that's going to come back next year as well. So. Um, we didn't get anything from that this year. But that's okay. Um, it's our first year doing this. So, but it took off like, and it did way better than we even expected. So, um, yeah, there's that. I think that's it. I can show you guys what I picked from the garden last night if you want to see here. It's kind of dark, so it's hard to see, but this is everything that I picked last night. So it's just some tomatoes. Then these are some of the Shinto peppers that I picked. Um, we have a ton more right over here. Not all of these are good. As you can see, some of these are like shriveled up and not so great. I'm going to have to pick through these later. But um, yeah, even after we pick them, a lot of them turn red. And I don't know why, but I think it's kind of cool. So, and then we have tons of tomatoes over here as well. So, um, yeah. Definitely a lot of produce that we've gotten. Um, and look at this baby tomato, you guys. There it goes. It's so cute. I don't like tomatoes, but we've gotten a lot of tomatoes this year. So, um, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs>